Hi. Hey, Shanti. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you today? I'm good. You know, I'm just so grateful for you doing this for me. I know, oh, like, please. I know we've met, but I don't, I know we're not like friends, friends. Look, we friends in my head. And <laughs> Listen, we sisters, and we all trying to figure this thing out together. And when my husband told me what you were doing, all I wanted to know was when I could help. That means a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. So speaking of your husband and that beautiful, handsome son of yours, how's uh, everybody doing? Everyone's good. Everyone's good. You know, by the grace of God, though we have all been affected by this pandemic, my husband and I fortunately have been able to continue to work. So that's really good. You know, work has shifted a lot. It's not yep. like it was before. Mike being an attorney, uh, the courts aren't open, but there are still cases. So he's still working on cases and um, helping the people. And uh, I still work every morning on the Ricky Smalley Morning Show. So I love my job, the luxury of uh, broadcasting from home and being mm -hmm. able to just wake the people up, remind them that they are not alone, encourage them. You yeah. know, laughter is such a great medicine. So all we try to do is, you know, give a little bit of information, keep people up to date, but really try to find the the silver lining and the beauty in the day. And we like to start every single morning. I love that. And and I know I'm a little late to the party, but I love Eva Corner. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about your segment? I was like, Oh, this thank is so cool. you. Thank you. I love Eva's Corner. So Ricky Smiley's so dope because he empowers us to really walk in our purpose. And oh, speaking of my son. Hi, son. <laughs> he empowers me to walk in my purpose. So being a mom, being a wife, being a businesswoman and uh, an advocate for the community, he allows me uh, a space to do Eva's Corner where I really just talk about all the things that affect moms, you know, yeah. um, and womanhood and everything in between. So it's not just for mothers, it's for everything women. And mm -hmm. I'm obviously speaking to the black woman and our mm -hmm. plight, what we go through, our triumphs, our um, sagas and everything else. I give everything from parenting uh, advice, tips, ideas, to how to cook baby food, to relationship advice. And so a lot of time my husband helps me with it, I must say. He's a big part that, of that's, it. That's really dope. And you know what? I would love to one day talk to you about doing an episode around post-traumatic stress. Absolutely. Um, moms. So maybe we I can shoot you some facts and tips and a little thing about what we do at Silence of Shame, but that would be dope. That would be great. I would love that. Absolutely okay, gonna, great. I'll get back to you. In my well, phone. I do them every Monday and Thursday. So you just send me the info and whatever okay. day is more optimal for you, we can okay. do that. And then we can do a live later on that day or whatever. So whatever you want okay, to do. Okay, that'd be amazing. Know. Okay, yeah. go. Santi. Okay, it's okay. I want to ask you, a lot of people are dealing with anxiety and stress at this time with the pandemic. Yeah. How are you and your family coping and what are you doing for self-care? You know what? It's, it's, I'm glad you uh, brought that up. I, um, it's one of those things. I think people that have pre-existing conditions obviously can identify and notice things quicker. But I think a lot of people that consider themselves um, without pre-existing conditions or without anxiety issues during this time have found has found that you know they are seeing you know their anxiety levels rise. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Me specifically, the reason why I decided to do it at Eva's Corner about it and really talk to the people about it was because I noticed it in myself, and I didn't know um, that I had these issues. I went to the grocery store after being in quarantine for quite some time, mm -hmm. and I was at the store and I literally had an anxiety attack, like a full mm -hmm. panic attack. People around me um, just wondering why they're not cautious with all that's going on and the fear that, you know, all the news reports are kind of putting into us. I mm -hmm. find myself afraid to do anything and everything. And it took me about two weeks before I left the house again. I really? told Mike, I said, you know what, I think I had an anxiety attack today. I don't want to leave the house. He went to the grocery store after that. But I realized that I am holding all of this in with trying to figure out what to do. And I don't really have an outlet for my frustration mm -hmm. and my confusion yeah. more than anything, because I don't think we have the answer, right? Yeah. So what I decided was I had to really focus and be intentional on coping methods Yes. and realize that 
if I'm having these issues, my kids might be get, dealing with an undue level of anxiety, and then all of my peers and supporters around the world. So I decided to use my platform and really just talk about the fact that I feel bottled up inside. And mm -hmm. if you feel bottled up inside too, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. And I just, I didn't feel okay. As I kept telling myself, you're okay. But the truth is, I wasn't okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there was a moment, I believe it was God, that spoke to me and says, you're not okay, but it's okay. Yes, and that's what your post said too. Yes. That was the same day on Yes, Facebook that was said, the day I had the yes. anxiety attack. I figured, yeah. Because when you yeah. posted that, that was like, I need to reach out to Mike and see if she would talk to me. Because I don't even know if you realize, you know, at the time that May was Mental Health Awareness Month, and it was such a right. timely moment for you to post that message for everybody. Yes. And you know, on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, every Tuesday is Talk Tuesday, where we have a uh, clinical psychologist on there talking about um, and debunking the misnomers of therapy and mm -hmm. really trying to um, encourage our people to seek proper mental health and get help for issues, trauma, and the things that we've gone through. But for some reason, it just all happens all at once in May, you know, I think March and April, it just compacted everything. And it just, it was right on time. And this is not just for black women. This is for men. This is yeah. for kids. This is yeah. for everyone. Because I think the confusion of not knowing really what's going on and the shift <laughs> being so broad and quick, it, everyone's unsettled and so yeah. what I do is I meditate okay. I pray I talk I think talking about it for me and I think a lot of people will learn once you get it out just saying I'm not okay yeah. just that release alone yeah. and talking about the feelings that I'm feeling and why I don't want, want to do certain things it kind of allowed me to tackle them one by one Mm -hmm. and deal with the issues, see what they are versus, hey. you know, hiding from it. And right. um, I don't want to hide because I want to be the best me for myself first and then for my children. And so, you know, making sure that I have a level of clarity, making sure that I have facts over fear, you know, and know what's really going on and not let everything I hear penetrate. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to turn off the internet. Sometimes Ooh, you got to unplug. <laughs> And yes. I know because, you know, we don't have new productions and everyone's at home, there is a, um, a desire to try to get a lot of content. But I think we have to be very conscious right now, more than ever, what kind of content we're allowing in our spirit, what kind of music we're listening to, what kind of shows we're watching, all of those things. Even if you're going to watch the news, which news update do you watch? How do they skew yes. it? Is it biased? And so... You know, I spend time, Black Lives Matters has a, a town hall every Wednesday, um, Black Lives Matter in Los Angeles. And Dr. Melina, I'm a member of Black Lives Matter. I'm inactive because I'm in Georgia. But uh, I join the town halls and we try to talk about solutions and find out what the issues are and come together with our resources and our network and find solutions for the problems mm -hmm. as they come and just deal with them that way. Because trying to tackle the whole beast at one time, it's overwhelming. It really is. And you know, I'm glad you said, you know, limit the news consumption and things that you're watching. I was actually on a webinar last night and one mm -hmm. of the therapists talked about sometimes maybe just read your updates as opposed to watching the yes. videos because you don't want those images embedded because you could even you know you could experience trauma from that right absolutely everything that we're seeing you know with our black man getting shot and killed and watching those images over and over and over again that mm -hmm. plays a lot into our anxiety and fear as absolutely well, in the black community right absolutely and so what we ingest what we're watching so for me you know i have to i report the news every day mm -hmm. but i make sure that i find what i feel like our people need to hear and i throw away the rest of it yeah you know with brianna taylor with ahmaud Arbery, you know with the cases that are going on with nan where um 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 Al Sharpton and what he's doing to try to and Ben Crump to pull this thing forward. But also, I like to help with economic stimulus relief. So if we know we're not getting funding from the government and a lot of my people are not seeing these stimulus checks, their businesses aren't being assisted. But Oprah just signed a $17 million fund where she's giving money in the five states that she used to live in. Wow. We have um, 
uh, Magic Johnson, who did a $100 million fund for only African Americans and their businesses. And you can uh, apply through that through the NAN National Action Network. And okay. so I try to find solutions and things to kind of help us with the things that are stressing us out mm -hmm. versus adding to the stress. Because I don't think that's, that's helpful. Yeah. So I try to, you know, try to put out there the solutions and the things that I know in certain communities that might be able to help you. Um, um, Feed the Hungry here in Atlanta is doing an amazing job with the kids, especially now that they're out of school mm -hmm. and are not getting these meals and with families that need help. So mm -hmm. just trying to be solutionary. Yeah. No, I, I love it. And I, I just got to tell you a uh, fan moment. Girl, I've been following you since Top Model. And oh, my was, God. <laughs> wait, you. I was team Eva all the way. All me and my girlfriends was like, even my sister. My sister passed away last year, but we all. Oh, I'm sorry like, to hear that. That's okay. But we were team Eva and would tune in every week, girl. Oh, to see you. thank you. But I say all that to say, like, watching you use your platform and the way that you're using it now, you know, and I celebrate you even on, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But, like, the work that you're doing in the community, you and your husband, is to be applauded. And I just thank, thank you for that. Thank yeah, you. That means a lot. You know, I think that um, we're all just out here trying to figure it out, right? And yeah. so my job uh, lends my, my name and likeness to people so they know who I am, but I'm no different than anyone else. And doing Housewives or yeah. um, acting in movies and TV shows, it just allows me a larger stage to do my real work and the that's real purpose right. and that's to move the culture forward but yes. i have to have a reason for someone to listen to me so we try to figure out the balance but oh, yeah. at the end of the day it's all about the culture no doubt no doubt well you're doing a great job i only have two more quick questions sure so i created I this yeah wellness platform um so that people could you know we could check in see how people are doing and talk about mind body soul spirit but also business do you have any business tips for entrepreneurs in these uncertain times and tell me about Absolutely. the products that you're selling to relieve yes. anxiety and sleep. I got to buy some. I'm going online. Today. Oh, I have a sale going on for Memorial Day right now. 40% off. You have to get some. So I, I have a company. Sorry, my son. Mikey, That's okay. please stop. Um, so I have a company called Siva D. It is a CBD line. It is for everything you can use CBD for. So CBD is an amazing, amazing medicine. It is one of the 113 cannabinoids. And this really helps with inflammation. So those that use um, medicines for inflammation, athletes that have had joint pains, things of those natures. But what I really love it for is for my anxiety and my clarity. Okay. So it allows me a more focused and clear mind and it allows me um, a lower level of stress, even though all the factors are still there, but it allows me to walk into the situation a lot calmer. And so I came up with this all natural organic product. Um, I have three different products. One's a skincare. I swear by it. It's absolutely amazing. The Is it a moisturizer also? It's a moisturizer. So the anti-inflammatory products help your skin yes. and honestly i didn't even get into it for skincare it just happened to be one of the residual effects um but i really got into it for homeopathic um assistance and so to get away from western pharmaceuticals as much as we can the body is meant to heal itself and a lot of times we just need to help it and so yeah. jump starting that and so what this cbd does is it helps you with clarity mind body and spirit it's on sale now at thinkcbd.com i take it religiously my producers okay. at my uh, morning show take it when she okay. started taking it i remember uh a week later, she forgot to take it, and she thought her whole world went crazy. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. But <laughs> everybody I that I know swears by it. Great okay. price point. It's all natural. And it helps you stay away from the stuff you really don't need to ingest. Yeah, yeah. And any other tips for any entrepreneurs? That you oh, yeah. So the entrepreneurs, especially yeah. you millennials out there. Yeah. The TH, uh, uh, someone's asking a question. I have different um, uh, products. So I do have a product with THC in it for those with really bad pain. Okay. But then I also have products without THC in it with a great CBD component that'll be great for you. Okay. Um, and as far as entrepreneurs, so for the young millennials out there, you guys are seeing the way the world is changing. 
Mm -hmm. We're not at offices and business centers anymore. And a lot of things are being done remote. So for young business owners or even people that have had been in business for a very long time, it might be time to restructure and rethink how you operate as okay. far as your overhead is concerned and how you get to consumer. I think there are uh, a lot of opportunities now with social media that are free that mm -hmm. allow us to do work from home. Um, mm -hmm. If you look at a lot of companies out there are allowing their employees to now work from home because they realize they can. Yeah. So I think you really use this time to figure out how to make the internet work for you, whatever your service is, mm -hmm. because everyone is on the internet be it Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, whatever your jam is and your demographics jam is, that's where you go and figure out how to really get on this social media wave because it allows you to get to the masses and really help people from a car wash business to a home cleaning service to uh, close fl fluff and fold. You know what I mean? That's right. You can really get out there. It doesn't have to be, you know, big products and you do nails and that kind of stuff. But even that, if you're a nail tech and you're not opening your salon, COVID-19 has shut you down. You can make nail kits and sell those to the same clients that you were doing their Very nails. Very smart. Weekly. So just figure out how to reshift what you already do. I love it. Yes. And the last thing, so we can get to know you a little better, Prince or Michael Jackson? Hard. Okay. Uh, Prince. Okay. Batman or Superman? Batman. Okay. And why? Because I think he was black. Because you couldn't <laughs> really tell because he was all covered. You knew Superman was white. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ice cream or gelato? Gelato. Lactose okay. intolerant. And amusement parks or museums? Museums. Okay. Amusement. Yeah. Amuse I'm, uh -uh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't need to be scared at all. I already have enough issues. I do not need to be scared. But um, I will take my kids and stuff to the amusement parks. I don't want to create fear in them. I just yeah. don't like the stomach drop. That's right. That's right. Well, <laughs> I can't thank you enough for being Hello, on the Get Wellness Check-In today. I encourage everybody to follow Silence the Shame. Um, support our organization. Yes. You can go to silencetoshame.com or follow us at Silence of Shame. We do a lot of work in the community. So maybe once we get through COVID, we can do some panels together around women and mental health. Absolutely. We can do panels on here. This thing, and I, what I do want to say, this is not a question. What I want us to do as a people is figure out what our new normal is. Yeah. Get out of this idea of when we get back, we not getting back. There is no go back to it. This whole hug people when you see them, shake hands. We're going to start doing things a lot differently. Yeah. I'll, exactly. <laughs> so the question is, how do we do what we need to do now? Yeah. Because yeah. this is the get back. This is the reopen, right? So we're figuring out how to start integrating and getting that human connection and making it happen again. And I don't think it's a holiday or a day switch that's going to say, all right, now everybody can go back out. So right. as you want it, you let me know. You know, we did a Mother's Day show and we all just recorded from home because it was still Mother's Day. I saw that. That yeah. was so dope. Thank you. But, you know, shout out to Fox Soul and yeah. uh, James the Bose and C Fox. Mikey, one second, mommy. We'll get you chocolate milk. One second, okay? But, yeah, so I think you just figure out how to do it now. So we can do it sooner than later. You All right, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to let you go back, get back to that handsome young man. Thank you. Have an awesome day and enjoy your Memorial weekend. Thank you Thank so you, much, you guys, yeah. too. Be safe. Wash your hands, moisturize, and stay happy. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Thanks, Mike. Peace out. You want to say bye, Mikey? Say bye, Mikey. Bye, Mikey. Thanks, Michael bye. Sterling. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.